new moon it is not coming to play it is wild we have so much going on at the time of this new moon that is making this just like insane it's it's a vibe i'm definitely feeling the leo vibes it is got me all the way in my energy right now so welcome back to my mother effing channel we are back with a bang <laughs> i am so excited to talk about this leo new moon because it is a big mother effing deal okay if you are new here my name is tawny michelle in this video we are going to talk about the leo new moon what's happening the energy of what's happening the astrology of what's happening what you can expect for your rising sign and what the fuck all of this means in the first place as always i suggest that you watch the beginning of this where i really talk about the collective energy and what's going on here because it will make a whole lot more sense because this first part is the foundation right and so your sign builds on top of this first part if we know each other if we vibe if you've been here for a while i would really really love if you could say hello down below so really quick i have something really Really, really important to talk about before we start i have a new program my next program it is my abundance and money manifestation program and it is called money codes is coming this thursday july 28th this program is bad ass this is not some manifestation program of like i'm gonna write the dollar amount i want down and just hope that it falls out of the air and in my lap like that is not what this is this is for people that are already making money but you want to make more you're ready to step into a higher frequency with money and abundance and you're ready to start manifesting it or you're ready to be an open channel for money and the way that a lot of money manifestation and manifestation in general is taught is through a masculine lens is through a masculine energy way of doing it i don't know about you i used to like you know, use writing for manifestation like so often. And it just felt like I felt very disconnected from it. And it never really felt like it truly fucking worked. <laughs> and I've really learned so much about energy and just so much about energetics. I've really gotten to a place in my life where I feel like I've I've gotten so much and I'm still ongoing. In Money Codes, I'm going to share with you what I've learned when it comes to money and abundance manifestation. I've been talking about doing a money program for months. I know a lot of you have been excited for it. I had my first five figure month this year. I've had a $7,000 week. I've had $1,000, $2,000 days. I mean, it's just insane. So I'm going to share with you the energetic formula that I have learned when it comes to money, all the codes that I've downloaded. And once you really understand this, it will break you free of so much lack in your life that is blocking you from making the amount of money that you want to make like money is sexy money is free there's so much that's put on money that's not true and these are the things that really actually block us from expanding with money right it's energy it's energetics but once you figure this out like so many things are going to click for you in this program it's a short program it's two weeks long and there will be four modules plus extra bonuses if you don't follow me on my other social medias if you're not on my email list then this may be the first time you're hearing about it the price is pretty freaking low and there's also a payment plan option but the price will raise before we start at some mystery point before we start the price will raise so if you want to get in there get your booty in there let's play with money this is so much more than money manifestation too this is fun this is pleasurable right because pleasure really ties in to money manifestation you do not want to miss this i'm so excited about it there are people already signing up people already inside and i'm just so fucking stoked to see the money and abundance miracles that we encounter in the next two weeks like it's going to be beautiful i feel it i know it i just i just freaking know it so if you'd like to sign up the link will be down below if you have questions you can reach out to me through email or through my website let's go ahead and get into this leo mother up and new moon okay so this leo new moon y'all this leo new moon is not playing around like i said okay First off, what is a new moon? A new moon is when the sun and the moon get together in the same part of the sky in the same sign. So the moon and the sun are aligning in the sky. This brings a fresh blank slate, new beginnings, new energy into the air. This is the time of like seeds of creation, right? This is where something begins, an idea, a, a desire. You know, this is where something sparks your interest. The, the sign of Leo is about the heart. Leo deals with bravery, right? Because bravery, it takes bravery 
to put your heart out there. It takes bravery to stand in your integrity, to stand in your authenticity, no matter what is happening. So wherever you have Leo in your chart is getting a massive new beginning here. It may be pulling you to step out into the spotlight, to be brave, to be authentic, to, to have courage with something, to, to create something new, to be more playful, to be more fun, to be more in your vibe, right? Be in your element, like embrace who you are and basically disregard what anybody thinks about it. And you know, a lot of people think Leos are like these egotistical narcissistic assholes, but like really they are embracing their heart. Even when other people aren't in agreement or aren't in relation or aren't on the same page, like they are brave enough to embrace who they really are. And an open Leo, a Leo that is in their higher version of them, in their more like positive traits you could say, has an open heart and can love and cheer on others and pump up and empower others just as much. So this Leo new moon is about empowerment. It is about literally embodying the essence of who you really are, allowing your heart to shine, allowing yourself to shine, getting out of this energy of like you need to hide or you need to pull back or you're being too much or you're being too loud or whatever the case may be and putting it all out there, allowing yourself to be too much, allowing yourself to have a love affair with you, right? Like how can you love you right now? How can you fall in love so deeply and passionately in love with yourself and get so fucking excited about that? How can you be in a love affair with you? And this is not egotistical. This is not conceited. This is not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about being better than anyone. I'm talking about loving you from the bottom of your soul for who you really are, right? Loving yourself on a soul level, loving yourself on a divine level, like tapping into that divine love within yourself, of yourself, right? Tapping into your worthiness. What makes you shine? What makes you special? What makes you feel that sense of love, passion, joy, playfulness, like childlike fun, just pleasure, right? What makes you feel those things? Tap into those things right now. Get back to yourself. Do you listen to music that is so you right now? Like make a you playlist, right? Like a playlist that's like all these songs describe who the fuck I am and remind me who the fuck I am. And I go back to this anytime I'm not feeling like me, right? Like that would be perfect for this Leo new moon as we're stepping into this new chapter, right? So this Leo new moon is really like, okay, it's time to step into who I really am. It's time to get really fucking honest with myself about what my heart desires, what my heart wants. And if I can stand in alignment with that, if I can stand in integrity with that, and if I can allow myself to have fun, to shine, to, to, to be in the spotlight for who I am by just being me, right? This isn't about trying to be in the spotlight. This isn't about like, you know, trying to get attention or anything like that, or trying to shine. This is about just being you. And by being you, you shine naturally. By being the full embodiment of who you are in each moment, you shine naturally. You are magnetic naturally. There's nothing that you need to do. There's nothing that you have to become. There's nothing that you actually like need to change, you know, or fix or whatever, right? So getting so in touch with that deep love, that deep passion within yourself. And, and you know, this new moon's very much about courage as well. And the reason that I say that is because around this new moon, around this beautiful, big, bold Leo energy that's coming in and, and that's, you know, taking up the stage and that's like, here I am, like, like it or leave it, right? Around the same time, we have a pretty rough square going on between this whole party that's happening in Taurus of Mars, Uranus, and the North Node, which we're going to talk about, but also Mercury in Leo, right? Mercury in Leo, and then also Saturn in Aquarius. So what, this is what we kind of you know, this is kind of the more edgier part of this Leo new moon. This is an edgy Leo new moon. It's like big, bold, and like loud and, and ready to, to, to shine. But there's also a sense of like, am I holding in what I really think? Am I limiting my self-expression for others? Are others not liking my self-expression? Are others putting me in a corner because of who I am or what I feel or what I want or what I desire or, you know, whatever. It's almost like by being authentic to ourselves, by going against the grain, so to say, we may attract like the wrong kind of attention um, in some areas or another. Now, this can be different. There could be a lot of different scenarios that I'm going to go over a few of them with this, but there could be a lot of different scenarios with this, you know, but either way, there there is some kind of challenge in voicing our opinion, being bold within our self-expression, being bold within our voice, and voicing what we really want, 
that could cause a challenge or some uncertainty or some kind of shake up within another area of our lives or some kind of pushback or resistance in some area of our lives. And so this is what we really want to watch out for this week. And this is for more than just the Leo new moon too, because this Mars Uranus uh, North Node conjunction is really bringing in so much rebellion, so much like uncertainty, like a, a certain level of instability, uh, because Uranus is very shaky, right? It rules over lightning. It rules over things like that that are just out of the blue, but very powerful, very shocking, but very liberating and exciting and exhilarating. And so we have to like really lean into the freedom and the excitement of this rather than the shaky uncertainty energy of this because if we lean into the freedom the excitement the 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 liberation of uranus then we can feel that we can feel the freedom excitement and liberation and we can upgrade in miraculous and rapid ways during this time like these are rapid upgrades that are happening and on top of that massive massive awakenings that are happening during this time for many people i mean there may be people that you see that all of a sudden just wake up from something that are all of a sudden awakening to something that are all of a sudden realizing something that are all of a sudden changing their whole lives just randomly you know it's like they can't take the tension anymore on who they really are right it's like if there's any tension in our lives uh of of on us for being authentic, if there's any tension in our lives that is pressuring us, challenging us, because we are not in our authentic expression, or because we are in our authentic expression, but there's something that's holding us back from fully embodying that, or fully embracing that, then this time is going to bring that up to liberate us. So what can happen with this is there may be some kind of unexpected news, there may be some kind of unexpected event. You may give some unexpected news or you may give some news that, that shakes someone else up or that you know causes some unexpected reaction, right? Um, there could also be, you know, like this is so much about being bold in our expression, being bold in our authenticity and possibly speaking up about something that causes a massive upgrade or shift in our lives or in someone else's life. But it's like the main thing here, like the main theme that I see with this is authenticity because Uranus deals with authenticity and individuality. Mars, to a certain extent, deals with authenticity and individuality. Leo deals with authenticity and individuality. That's like a similar theme that they all have in common. And so there's going to be a lot going on with authenticity, self-expression, being bold, being rebellious, like going against the grain, right? And this can be very disruptive. This can be very disruptive. There can be some part of our lives that gets disrupted. This is very much like the tower card in the tarot and the Rider Waite deck, you know, where the lightning is hitting kind of like the top of the building. But if you look down, the foundation is cracked and just a mess, right? So a lot of the times with Uranus transits like this, something can happen. Something can get shaken up in our lives and get disrupted. Uh, and there can be a massive shift, you know, something that was there is no longer there anymore. And we focus on the loss of that instead of what we're actually gaining from that. Because Uranus is actually, Uranus is in Taurus. It's about creating something new. It's about gaining. It is about abundance, right? It is about beauty. It is about, you know, finding the beauty in these things. And what Uranus does is it frees us. It liberates us. Uranus seeks to free us from something. So if something does get shaken up, if something does get disrupted, if something does fall down, right? Then instead of focusing on what you've lost, right? Focus on the space that that's now created. Focus on the freedom, how this is freeing you in some way. How is this freeing you? How is this liberating you from something else? We can also see a certain level of unconventionality with these transits this week and even next week. I mean, these are some of the biggest transits of the year. So this is like these next two weeks are a really, really big deal. This is like a non-conformist energy. This is individuality, you know, unconventional, like it's all of those things. We're going about something in a different way. We're being challenged to do something in a different way. We're being challenged to be bold, to be authentic in our expression and to speak our voice, to speak our truth, to express ourselves, but in a different way, right? And also this is bringing up a sense of courage. You know, where do you need to speak up for yourself? Where do you need to express yourself with a level of bravery? Where do you need to, you know, face certain fears in your life? Where do you need to 
um, embody your truths, right? Embrace your truth, embrace your heart and what your heart desires. And a lot of people think like, oh, well, my heart tells me to be with this toxic person and my head tells me that's not a good idea. That's not your heart, that's your head being scared to feel what it would feel like to not be with them, <laughs> right? Like it's fear, it's not, your, it's not your heart, right? Your heart can take whatever. It's you that closes your heart and tries to protect it, but your heart can handle it, right? So that's not your heart, right? Like it's, but it's, it's listening to what your heart wants. What makes your heart open when you think about it? What makes, your, what makes you feel like just so in love, so passionate, so like full, fulfilled, right? That's what you want to be doing around this time. That's what you wanna be really getting into, thinking about, feeling into around this time. So we could see a lot of like freedom of expression topics come up. We could see a lot of like liberation and self-expression come up. We could see a lot of radical change in our lives. Like a lot of people like may have massive life changes within the next week or two. Because Uranus and Mars are aligning with the North Node, these changes are like faded. They're like destined. They're like, we're here, bitch. This is happening. This is part of the path, right? So know that whatever comes up in these next, like this next week or two is part of the path. Like it's part of where you're being, you know, where energetically, universally, we're being kind of pushed to go. It's a path that we're being kind of like influenced to go down in a lot of ways. There's gonna be a lot of radical changes, a lot of huge life changes in the next week or two. And that's why I, I'm saying like a huge theme of, of this is big, bold moves. You know, we could also be taking risks that come with a certain level of uncertainty, you know? And it may feel like, well, society or my friends or these people or the world or whatever tells me one thing, like this is what's mainstream, this is what's acceptable. And then, but what I want, what I desire is something totally different. And somehow that, you know, shakes things up in your life and you have to like take a risk. You have to put yourself out there. You have to make a choice. You know what I mean? Like a big decision that could really shift things. So this is so much about bravery, you guys. This is so much about bravery. This is so much about figuring out what it is that you truly desire, what it is that you truly want and allowing the universe to show you unique, unconventional ways of getting that, right? So if we can do that, if we can lean into the freedom and the liberation of this energy, if we can lean into the boldness of this energy and look at what we're gaining through the things that happen or what's, whatever's going on in our lives right now, then we can move through this so much easier. Now, there may be like a lot of fear of rejection that comes up as well or like feeling like you have to now move forward in a new way or move forward in an unconventional way that you weren't planning on previously because of maybe some kind of rejection or some kind of pushback or some kind of resistance right so it, it's definitely like possibly having some some difficult conversations or some difficult topics that come up i would not be surprised on more of like a, a bigger scale like if there wasn't some huge scandal with someone that's well known like a celebrity uh, a comedian you know if there wasn't like if someone didn't say something that people got really really up in arms about like a, a whole cancel culture situation or something i wouldn't be surprised if there were earthquakes electrical you know electrical shit shows like i i just all of those things can happen right now but also awakening to what we really want through a possible challenge can happen right now awakening to what's authentic and true to us deep down and also like you know for some people it may be about finding a balance between what you love and what you desire and doing that versus how that affects other people, how that ripples, you know what I mean? I would say it's a little bit more about doing what you want right now with all this Leo energy. It's a little bit more about your desires and your heart, but depending on how your chart is configured, you could find the opposite to be true where, you know, maybe you've been worried about you and then maybe now somehow like your actions affect others, right? Where you were the way that you've expressed yourself or something that you've said now has an effect that is very uh, like, you know, that was very uncertain. That was not, that you were not expecting, you know? And so, so these are the things that we're really going to be seeing come up. And then also this new moon in Leo is trining Jupiter in Aries, uh, which is really expansive, really big, really bold, being loud and clear. Like what we want is coming in loud and clear. What we desire, our heart's desires are coming in loud and clear. And we may feel very amped up 
we may feel like I'm ready to fight about this if I have to. I'm ready to, you know, if people don't like this, then I'm ready to challenge the status quo. I'm ready to, you know, figure it out myself and shine and, you know, whatever else, even if people don't like it, you know what I mean? And that can be uh, a beautiful thing for some people. It can be a, a sense of like finally speaking up for yourself, finally expressing yourself, finally, you know, getting in your own energy. This can also put us in a situation where it's like, we're not going to bend and the other situation or the people involved aren't going to bend either, where we're in some kind of opposition of like, you know, because this is fixed energy. And so it's kind of very stubborn. It's very stuck in its ways. It's not going to, it's not going to just bend and, and just take it. There is a compromise that can be found though. If you can, if you can find a compromise, a middle ground, there is one there that can be found, but it may involve letting go of some things or doing things in an unconventional way, doing things in a way that you hadn't expected, that you hadn't planned for, you know, but that possibly bring in new exciting visions into your life, new exciting things into your life. And so it can actually end up being very helpful, right? So, you know, this is also very much about leadership. Where are we leading in our lives? Where are we the leading force in our lives or where are we not, right? Like where are we letting everyone else and everything else and our circumstances, yada, 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 dictate how we feel and who we are instead of being the leading energy in our lives, right? This is very much though about stepping into your radiance, stepping into what makes you radiant, magnetic, like stepping into that fire, that passion, that love, and really putting that into action, you know, taking aligned action that, that matches that energy because it's it's so powerful right now. It's like we're we're seeing where we are worthy and it's a matter of like, can we hold that worthiness even in opposition, even when that's challenged, even when other people are not on board with us or even with if other people don't relate or whatever the case may be, don't, don't like us or whatever, right? Like, can we hold that sense of worthiness, that fire within and trust in that and be in that rather than, you know, worry about what everybody else thinks, what everybody else wants, et cetera, et cetera. And, and, and that they don't like us, you know, yada, yada, yada. So this can be a time where a lot of drama can be coming into our lives as well, where we can kind of see like a, a dramatic, larger than life, like a exaggerated kind of energy, but we can also get really creative with this energy and get into like uh, performing arts, you know, like Leo can be a performer, right? But, and this is another thing too, like, where are you performing in life? that's not all the way authentic, you know, going back to the authentic thing. It's one thing if you're like doing it just to, you know, because of like an art or like a, something that you're passionate about, but like, are you acting in a way that really isn't you in another area of your life? And that can really come up around this time. You know, where are we, where do we need to kind of cleanse our ego and get into that higher energy of Leo, of like divine love, the higher version of us that is in integrity, that, that is, that with like open hearts that is brave and that has a soul divine level love instead of a more superficial egotistical kind of love if that makes sense right yeah we're gonna see a lot of loud larger than life possibly really bold moves happening in other people and with how they're acting and what they're saying and how they're expressing themselves but this is like this is really amazing energy and it can bring a lot of breakthroughs it can bring a lot of awakenings it can bring a lot of shifts that we really needed to get out of some kind of stuck place right so hopefully this was helpful for you if you watched this first segment of the video comment down below and let me know and definitely let me know if you see any of these themes coming up in your life i would really really truly love to hear about it and love to hear what situations arise for you with this Leo new moon. So let's go ahead and get into the individual signs for this Leo new moon. How is this Leo new moon going to affect your rising sign? Alrighty, starting with you, Leo, since it is your new moon. And uh, happy birthday, by the way, if you are a Leo sun and you are watching this, but this may resonate a little more for Leo risings, just so you know, my fellow Leo risings. So Leo, 
this new moon is happening if we're in our first house if we are a leo rising so this is all about us this is all about the self the body the appearance getting back to us right like it's been a it, it possibly may have been like a rough last month or so for leo risings because we've had a lot of cancer 12th house energy so we've had to really like slow down like you know kind of take a step back from from all of the the day-to-day -day stuff that we were focusing on like all of the the things that we had planned all the all the visions that we were going after we had to likely take a step back and like really get into some kind of seclusion right like we may have been more secluded the last month where we really had to work on healing work on like emotional work right work on um our mental health like work on uh releasing certain things letting go surrendering right like the past old cycles old patterns right like all these kind of subconscious areas our sleep you know we may have been more tired more drained uh some people can get sick around the 12th house you know 12th house time of year because it really is like a an internal thing it's it's like a pullback you know and if we're constantly trying to push 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 it's like we get exhausted our mental health you know kind of goes down our energy kind of goes down because this is a time of pulling back rather than pushing outwardly and so now though with the new moon and the sun being in leo our first house we are moving out of that where it's like i'm back bitch i here i am you know like we are bold we are ready to go and we are starting to gain momentum again now for some it may be a little slower than others it just depends um if you're not feeling that just yet then you should start feeling it more and more every day that goes by you know this leo energy with the sun in our first it's like we want to shine we're ready to put ourselves out there we're 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 a brand new version of us from all of the releasing the healing the letting go the slowing down that we've had to do and now we can just focus on us and we can focus on what makes us shine what we love what what brings us joy and pleasure and happiness into our lives right and it's like and i've noticed this as well as like a leo rising where it was just like you know really kind of difficult there like the last month where it was just really emotional like emotionally turbulent and you know i had to like really slow down and go back and like focus on a shit ton of healing and um really i i couldn't focus on anything else you know i couldn't move forward with anything else because i wasn't all the way right within myself and so i had to really go back and like you know get into that and like rest and take time for me and get into new healing modalities and get into new to to spirituality again and, and really get my mind my energy and my emotions right really get my internal world right and so now though there's been this energy that i've been feeling since leo season of like okay like i'm ready to move forward and um i'm ready to focus on me like i'm like i am the most important thing right now right like i need to get myself together i want to do things that i love i have visions for my life and myself that i want to invest in that i want to put my time energy etc and and you know you may be feeling that way too what makes you you like get back to that right and evolve you know become a new version of you because this is like the 2.0 version of you like new moon new you you know so step into that energy do something that puts you there do something that that puts you in that new version of you right like and i talked a lot about that in the next level master class and in my free facebook group the quantum she over on facebook where we talk about high level shit manifestation spirituality all the things um my next level master class was free it's on my channel if you haven't seen that go check it out because it talks about new level you like stepping into your next level like becoming your next level embodying your next level manifesting all of the things um quantum manifestation so go check that out because that I really feel like that's the vibe right now for Leos, especially because of all this Taurus energy in our 10th house, right? This is why, you know, we're getting into manifestation and why I've been getting into quantum manifestation. I've seen a lot of Leos getting into like these types of things because Jupiter's in our ninth and was in our eighth, which is very esoteric, occult. And then it was in our ninth, you know, and it's still in our ninth, which is like learning new things, learning, like learning, traveling, like, you know, um, your your vision for your life and and like learning new teachings etc manifestation like uh faith your beliefs right and then we have the this taurus party of the north node uranus mars 
like liberating us in so many ways when it comes to what's been holding us back in our fucking lives right and this is why i want to do like a whole monthly for august for each sign because i just have so much to talk about there's been so much going on for for leo risings and i know because i'm leo rising but i just pieced it all together and i'm like holy shit this makes so much sense and i know so many of you are experiencing this too but we are making massive leaps and bounds in our lives our careers we are moving the fuck forward we are like no longer letting the baggage of the past holding us back and if you are you need to face that shit right there are fears that you need to face to be able to up level to be able to move forward and that may be what's like pulling you down or that's pulling you back from really stepping into the future that you want like we're thinking very long term right now big picture kind of shit what do we want for our life what do we want to achieve in life you know how can we do more how can we grow more how can we evolve more right like this these are the kinds of things that are coming up and we're ready to step into like a a, a massive rapid evolution in our careers or just in life in general when we're thinking about our future what we want for our lives and how we can do that in like in ways that upgrade us right this is really about upgrading for leo and that also reminds me i have a a mastermind out right now for group coaching and then it's also access to every program that i do for 2022 and the ones i've already done which includes my new money program coming this thursday but like it's a mastermind i have five spots left uh if you are interested reach out to me through my email down below or on my website whatever it's like it's bomb but it's called upgrade that's why i just brought it up but like all this Taurus energy is like upgrading us, right? It's really fucking upgrading us. It's taking us to new heights. It's taking us into the future. It's taking us into to what we truly desire in our lives, what we wanna create in this life, the, the legacy we wanna leave behind, what we wanna be known for, right? And so this can be a very huge time for big, bold moves for Leo, big, bold moves. And it may involve having some courage it may involve having some courage it may involve difficult or tough conversations uh with relationships with a partner with other people you know with people in your life this can definitely be a time where it's like maybe something that maybe you're being kind of pulled between you and focusing on your future and what you want out of the future versus relationships or you know one or the other right it's like there's something that you want for your career your future <clears throat> there's something that you're moving into but there's also some kind of challenge there where a, like a relationship, you know, it's like you kind of want a steady, solid relationship, but you also want to expand and upgrade and, you know, experience radical changes and shifts and excitement in your life. Right. And so this can be a time where there's some there's some tension on you to like either make a choice or to express something, to put something out there, to be brave, to face something, you know, to really be bold and authentic in what you're saying and what you're doing. And that may upset some people. Right. Um, and but that's that's what you know, that's what this energy is kind of pushing you towards. I feel, you know, it's very much about authenticity and individuality for for Leo and, and self-expression and getting back to you and getting back to what your heart truly, truly wants, right? Like truly wants and really listening to that. So hopefully this was helpful, Leo. This was a long one, but hopefully this was helpful. Uh, I have my new freaking, my new Money Codes program for money and abundance manifestation. Everything that I've learned that brought me to my first five-figure month, a 7K week, multiple thousand dollar days, like all the things, right? It is super sexy, super pleasurable, super fun. It's two weeks long. It starts this Thursday. It's pretty low and there's a payment plan, uh, but it will not stay that way. So uh, we start in two days at the time that I'm filming this. So if you're interested, check it out down below. I love you guys. If this related to you, please comment down below and let me know if this was helpful. I love you guys and I will see you guys in my other videos. Bye. Virgo, darling, this Leo new moon is happening in your 12th health so this is definitely a time where it's a time of seclusion and getting back to you right so it's really like okay this is a time where you need to clear out whatever else you've been focused on in your external reality your external world like this is not a time to be like pushing 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 this is a time to retreat this is a time to pull in and do things that really make you happy right it's almost like uh, a child kind of running off into the woods to go play by itself right like kind of like you know being secluded but still having fun but being secluded right and not really trying to focus on your your outer world so much or what you need to do in your life 
life or what you need to do in your job or your day-to-day -day task you know like this is a little bit more about you and pulling back and if you don't a lot of the times what can happen is either you'll be forced to pull back in some way like maybe you'll get sick because your energy is trying to pull back right and we can have a little bit less energy with 12th house transits and so at the at, that that means that we can kind of get sick or we can sleep a lot more uh or you know whatever like we need a lot more rest or just our energy isn't right like we're not able to really like keep up with everything because our energy is like okay it's time to pull back right like the sun is shining a spotlight and on your subconscious realms and so this is really finding like the child version of you and getting so comfortable with the child version of you getting back to things that you used to love as a child maybe watching old movies or shows or listening to old music songs visiting old places that you really loved as a child you know can really really help you during this time and just tapping into that inner child you know like and and in the past right like the 12th house can really very much deal with the past spiritual teachings your mental health and really paying attention to those things to make sure that your vitality is good like right now this is really about your vitality and that may for you to like really be in a place where your vitality is high and thriving and and vibing you know for you to really be in your vibe it may involve you kind of doing some things behind the scenes you know it may involve you pulling back retreating secluding yourself you know being a little bit more quiet or uh you know kind of not really out in the public eye right now right like now venus is in your 11th house so there is kind of this you know desire or want to connect with people but mainly people that feel very familiar that you have some kind of like emotional connection with that feel like family something like that you know but other than that i feel like this is really a time that's pulling you inward and that's really giving you space to allow you to get your energy right to focus on maybe like creative hobbies that really bring you joy right that really uh light your soul on fire right that make you feel good about yourself and healing uh self-worth wounds healing wounds with your worthiness healing wounds with your self-expression healing wounds like healing inner child wounds like those are a lot of the big things that you're going to see this leo season and starting with this leo new moon now on top of this we have these challenging squares uh and oppositions between saturn and uh saturn and aquarius and your sixth and all of this stuff in taurus mars uranus north node and your ninth so what this means uh virgo is that there could be it's like you're trying to take a break and do something fun for yourself maybe you're just trying to go on a trip a vacation maybe you're trying to go visit a place from your childhood you know something like that like you want to just kind of escape and have fun and not have all these heavy burdens right but with saturn and your sixth there could be something that comes up like some kind of news or something that comes in where it's like, oh no, you have these responsibilities actually, or you have these things that you have to do, or we're laying some kind of work on you that you have to complete or whatever. And so it's kind of keeping you, it, feel, it may feel like a weight that's like holding you to, to something uh, around this Leo new moon and over the next week or two. And so find, try to find the middle ground there. You know, it's like, do the work when you can focus on you when you can and focus on what you really want what your heart really wants when you can right like and then also with all this stuff in taurus in your ninth house this can be radical shifts in your beliefs radical shifts and you know uh the way that you view the world your world views basically and your belief systems the the spiritual practices or religious practices or beliefs that you get into different learning endeavors this can definitely be an awakening of sorts an awakening to a new way of seeing things an awakening to a newfound faith you know but there could be something challenging you there as well with those things too where maybe you know there's some subconscious things that um you're realizing that somehow contradict your belief systems or your faith you know and you have to like really upgrade and break through break free of these this old programming right if that if there's one word i could really put for you virgo with this energy it's like programming right like where have you been programmed to like see things a certain way believe a certain way see the world a certain way think certain ways about yourself um you know where is this programming going on within you and so that's really what i think could come up for you virgo so definitely let me know down below if this resonates if you see any of these things coming up my new money codes program is starting this thursday on july 28th 
uh, we might it's for money manifestation and abundance uh, in the most sexy pleasurable way possible it is so badass it is so powerful I talked more about it at the beginning if you want a little bit more information on that and you can also see the link down below in my description if you would like to go check it out and learn more about it we start this Thursday so the price will be raising at some point before Thursday so if you would like to get in definitely go check that out it's going to be so powerful and so mind-blowing for so many people like I cannot wait it really goes into the energetics of money and abundance and how to manifest that shit in the real genuine fucking way this is not just writing something down on paper and just hoping that it just falls in your lap right like it's 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 not that so um yeah I love you guys Virgo have a great new moon in Leo keep me updated and we're gonna move on to Libra so Libra darling this new moon for you is happening in your 11th house of friends dreams hopes goals all of those types of things this is a massive social time for you libra you could really be like going through a lot with friends and networking and all the things and there could just be a lot going on there's like a, a party going on here in your life that may feel like it's going on 24 7 for a little bit right so yeah, you're you're really possibly focused on standing out. You're really possibly focused on shining. You're really possibly focused on putting yourself out there, being your authentic self. And I just want you, I just want to say that by being you, you shine automatically. So if you're trying to do all these different things to stand out, to shine, to be seen um, in the world or in a certain in a certain genre or whatever it is that you're doing, you don't need to do that, right? Like just be you. You don't have to be over the top. You don't have to try to do something. Just be you and you will naturally shine. Be magnetic, be in your power, be in your inner power and you will naturally get there. So with this though, we do have some rough challenging aspects like I talked about earlier with Saturn and Aquarius and Mars, Uranus and the North Node and Taurus. So what can happen here it looks like libra is there could be some massive radical upgrades shifts breakthroughs or disruptions when it comes to your investments your finances or maybe things are going well there but somehow there's some kind of like somehow this is triggering um something else or there's something that's holding you back from this in some way it's like you are uh you know possibly getting really into manifestation or abundance money like the like the the energetics or the flow of money which is what my new mo my new money codes program is about starting this uh thursday by the way july 28th and it's so badass i am so excited so check that out down below if you're interested because uh, just with your astrology, it really goes. But anyway, so you are really moving forward, upgrading, shifting in massive ways when it comes to investments, money, business, energetic exchanges, right? And there could be something possibly holding you back in terms of maybe children or uh, love or romance or something like that. And it could feel like, you know, it could feel like a push or pull. Like maybe if you put yourself out there, maybe you're going to be rejected. And so maybe you're trying to act like something you're not, or maybe you're trying to portray a certain image to avoid being rejected. But like I said, as long as you're you, you will shine for being you. So embody yourself, embody authenticity and allow that to kind of lead you, right? You could be making uh, some big moves in terms of business or networking, marketing, you know, somehow connecting with others or putting something out into the world or creating something and showing it to the world, maybe revealing something. This could somehow be in some kind of conflict with this eighth house area, like money, finances, business. For some of you just depending on how this is really hitting your own personal chart but yeah so i think that you're you're learning new ways to be authentic and you're learning new things that you actually desire and that you actually want to put out there you're possibly learning new things about people and the kind of people that you want in your circle the kind of people you want to associate with uh be careful because this could also be like you know like are you is are you being influenced by someone are you comparing yourself to others are you kind of getting lost in like oh, well, they have this and I don't have this, yada, yada, yada. And that could be kind of challenging you a little bit. So yeah, you're really being pulled to upgrade in a lot of areas, especially with money, finances, investments, uh, you know, possibly breaking free uh, from certain financial obligations that have felt very restricting 
or that have really been holding you back in some way. So let me know down below, Libra, if that resonates. Like I said, my newest program, Money Codes for Manifesting Money and Abundance is starting this Thursday. The price will be raising at some point before then. I talked more about it in the beginning, but it is for manifesting money and abundance. It is like the energetics, the energetic formula that I use with money manifestation and how I've like literally changed the game and upgraded my life with money manifestation, how I had my first five figure month, my first 7k week, like all the things. It's been absolutely amazing and I'm going to share everything I've learned so far in this program. It's a short two-week program. So uh, yeah, if you're interested, see the links below or if you're interested in anything else I do, see the links below. I love you, Libra. Have a happy Leo new moon. Let me know if this resonates and I will see you guys in my other videos. Hello, Scorpio darlings. This Leo new moon for you is happening in your 10th house of your career, your future, where you're going, where you're headed, your destiny, the path that you are walking in life, the things that you want to achieve in life, what you want for your future, the legacy you want to leave behind, your reputation, your professional life, like all of these things are really, really big right now with Leo season and this Leo new moon. So you're really being pulled to step into the spotlight. You know, there could be uh, some kind of light on you. There could be some attention on you or you're being pulled to put yourself out there in some way. You're being pulled to uh, shine something. You're being pulled to step out and shine, especially in terms of what you want for your future, your career, what you're building towards in life, your goals in life, what, you know, your professional life, your reputation, you're being kind of pulled to step out in this spotlight in these areas of your life, right? But as I said earlier in the beginning of this video, uh, there are some other aspects going on that could be challenging for some. And that is Mercury, that's also in Leo in your 10th house, is opposing Saturn in your fourth, and they're both squaring in a T-square with Mars, Uranus, and the North Node in Taurus in your seventh. And so what could be happening here, Scorpio, is that you're being pulled to shine, you're being pulled to express yourself in a very bold way or in a new way or in an authentic way, whatever in your career, you're being like, there's something pulling you to your career right now where you're really wanting to focus there. But with Saturn in your fourth house, it's like, there's something holding you back with home or family, right? Maybe there are certain responsibilities, there are certain restrictions, there's a certain fear maybe of rejection or there's something that's like holding you back from where you're trying to go in your life. You know, it's like, it's kind of like anchoring you, like you're trying to move forward, but there's this kind of like heavy anchor <laughs> or there's something from the past or there's something that hasn't been like, that hasn't quite been dealt with yet in terms of home, family, and your personal life, right? And so there could be a certain, you know, uh, sobering or difficult conversation uh, or, you know, point of view that gets brought up uh, over this next week or so with that. Now, also with all this Taurus energy in your seventh house, on top of that, there are radical shifts happening within your relationships or your partnership. There may be major upgrades happening here. There may be really unexpected events that come up or uh, unexpected situations or breakthroughs or liberation. You know, there there's a certain sense of freedom that could come up in your relationships or in your partnership that somehow is possibly also challenging where you're headed or what you're wanting to do with your life, your career, your professional life. So these are the things that you could be kind of noticing with this, you know, maybe you're, you're wanting to you're wanting to focus on your career. You have these visions for your life and your future and they feel very exciting, but it's like your relationships and your, your personal life, your home and family, there's like something here that's like not all the way on board. And so it feels possibly a little stuck, you know? And so it's pushing you to really figure out what your heart really wants. Like it's pushing you to really figure out what is authentic to you and, you know, or your partner, if you are in a like committed relationship, your partner could be feeling this where maybe they get some random urge to do something that's like different or unconventional or, you know, uh, to shift in some way or to break free of something in some way in their lives, you know, so that could be the case as well. So that is what I'm seeing for you, Scorpio. If that resonated, definitely let me know down below. Also, I have my newest program, Money Codes, happening this Thursday for Money and Abundance Manifestation. How I had my first 10 figure, or my first 10 figure, that would be nice. <laughs> Not there yet, my first five figure month 
and I've had consistent money flowing in since then consecutively. I've had a thousand dollar days, two thousand dollar days, seven thousand dollar weeks, like all of these things, how I've really upped my game with money, how I've really upgraded with money because of these energetics that I'm going to be teaching in this program. It's a short two week program and the price will be rising before we start on Thursday. So if you are interested, definitely go check it out down below so we can get into money manifestation, which is very pleasurable by the way. And yeah, it's, it's going to be a badass program. Okay. It is a sexy, badass fucking program. So if you are interested, go check it out. And with that, we are going to move on to Sagittarius. This new moon for you is happening in your ninth house of your belief systems, faith, your, your kind of higher perspectives on things, the, the way that you view the world, your worldviews, politics, religion, uh, <laughs> school, like college, travels, like all of these types of things. So these are some of the themes that you could be seeing come up over the next few weeks for Leo season. But on top of that, for this week and some of next week as well, we also have uh, some challenging aspects going on. We have Saturn in your third, and then we have the Mars Uranus uh, North Node conjunction in your sixth that is squaring Mercury and Leo in your ninth. And so this could bring up a challenging conversation. It's like you're trying to look at a higher perspective. You're maybe feeling very optimistic, very playful, very fun, but maybe there's someone or a certain situation in your reality or in your in your immediate environment, maybe a sibling, a family member, a neighbor, something going on around you that it, or even like a friend that is, that is kind of a little bit more negative or pessimistic, you know, like this could bring up kind of like a sobering conversation. It's like you're very excited and you're feeling very bold and you're feeling very frisky and possibly like adventurous and you're like looking at things from such a high level, from such a huge point of view. And maybe there's somebody around you or something around you that's kind of pulling you down or that's like feels like it's kind of killing your vibe or they're not on the, they don't, they don't agree with you, right? They may feel like maybe, like maybe they reject your ideas or maybe they reject something that you're doing. Maybe they, they aren't on board with something that you're doing. Like maybe you're going back to school or maybe you're going to travel or maybe you're exploring some new venture and something feels like it's kind of killing your vibe, <laughs> you know, like, it's like, I want to get out and do me and travel and, and maybe go do something new or adventurous or different, like out of my comfort zone. But there's something in your comfort zone that's kind of pulling you back, right? Like this almost looks like I want to go be a nomad, but, um, this, like my job is here and this, this city. So I can't do that, you know, or I have to take care of my parents that live over like a block over. And so they're not going to be down with that, you know, like, so something like that, where it's like, you're trying to do something where maybe you try to announce something, but someone's not on board or someone rejects it. And so it kind of goes into how can you be the authentic you? How can you do what you desire? How can you follow what you love and follow the things that you want to do in life? while also dealing with a certain level of rejection or dealing with a certain level of people or situations that are not all the way on board with you, right? And there may be like a challenging yet innovative way to figure this out. So there could be some unexpectedness that comes up in your day-to-day -day life or in your job or in your day-to-day -day tasks, your day-to-day -day routines with uh, coworkers, your employer, you know, um, or people that you, you know, if, if you run your own business, like people that you employ, you know what I mean? Like there's something going on here that's kind of like, like a radical shift that's happening in your day-to-day -day routines, your day-to-day -day tasks, your day-to-day -day responsibilities, your job, your work, or possibly your health, right? So there's something kind of destined that is uncertain or um, shaky, but possibly kind of exciting or disruptive that kind of comes up that may free you in some way. So you can go do what you want. You know what I mean? Like this may be like, oh, okay. Like somehow, some way I was able to hire someone to take care of this thing. And now I can go do what I want to do. And it's not necessarily what I had planned on doing, but that's it. You know what I mean? So there may be like an innovative solution to this. Um, for, for some, right? Like maybe not all, but for some, there could be like an innovative solution to this. But yeah, there could be some unexpected events that occur here uh, that really push you to a breaking point where it's like, what do I want? You know, what do I truly want? Not what everybody else wants or what everybody else thinks or what my friends think or whatever. Like, what do I truly want? You know, what do I truly desire? And how can you be authentic to you? Um, and you may not need to completely 
you know, uh, like go off or get in some kind of argument, it may, something may happen that kind of resolves itself or like there may be another innovative path that may seem challenging at first or may seem a little uncertain at first, but it's there, you know what I mean? So let me know how this relates down below. If you are a Sag rising, I would really love to hear your feedback. And also again, my newest money codes program, it's called Money Codes for Money and Abundance Manifestation starts this Thursday on July 28th. If you are interested and you would like to learn the sexy and pleasurable energetics of manifesting money and abundance that had got me to my first five figure month this year and multiple other massive money and abundance wins that I did not think were ever possible before, um, then definitely join this program. It's going to be badass and powerful and freaking mind blowing. Like I am teaching you the energetics of money and how to manifest money, how I manifest money, all of the things. So if you're interested in that, see the description down below and click on the link. And uh, the price will probably be rising before the program starts on Thursdays, just so you know. So anyways, if you do sign up, let me know. Comment down below and let me know. And moving on to Capricorn. So Capricorn, darling, this Leo new moon is in your eighth house of finances, investments, the occult, esoteric shit. <laughs> um, yeah, so these are the things. Possibly debt, you know, sometimes this can be like uh, challenges or struggles that we are having with finances. Um, so where in your life is that true or where in your life, you know, are these kinds of things coming up? You could see these kinds of things coming up for Leo season, but it's really like, where can you take charge of these things and, and face maybe some worthiness wounds that are tied into some of these areas of your life of finances, investments, et cetera, right? Where can you kind of be the leading force in this energy and, and really have more fun with it, you know, and, and be the leader with it, right? So with that being said, though, we do have some challenging aspects as I brought up earlier in the video with Saturn and the Uranus party happening in Taurus of Uranus, Mars, and the North Node, um, all kind of in this challenging aspect with Mercury and Leo. And so this could bring up some like unexpected events or news financially. Um, for some people, and this is just a random situation that comes to my mind, it doesn't mean it's gonna happen for everybody, but for some people, maybe you get some you know, some, maybe there's something you want to invest in, but like you, like Saturn in your second is like, no, I need to be very discerning. I need to be very, uh, you know, serious about what I'm spending my money on. And, um, and it feels like risky. You know what I mean? It's like, this could be kind of pushing you to, to your heart's desires and like being authentic and taking a risk. But at the same time, you know, there could be a certain level of rejection there, or there could be a certain level of difficulty there in some way, you know? So it, this could come up in like a lot of different scenarios for you, but you're going to see this more playing out with your finances, with money, your priorities and investments, any kind of energetic exchange. And then also with what it is that you desire, that you love in life with all this Taurus stuff in your fifth house, you know, this could involve children too. Uh, there could be maybe even some, news like financial news or some financial information that you find out you know that's kind of unexpected or causes some kind of unexpected shift as well for some capricorn rising so um yeah i think you're, you're trying to be very discerning and be very frugal or even like somewhat restrictive with money and this leo new moon and and also mercury and leo is kind of like you know you may be trying to make a decision about where you want to invest or, or where you're going in terms of your finances or you may be making some kind of risk you know some kind of risky investment now i don't know that i would for sure advise you to do that or not just because uranus is involved and it's very unpredictable so it could go either way these are kind of challenges though so just be prepared either way that there will possibly be some challenges and curveballs that you didn't see coming if you do decide to make some kind of you know big investment or uh, something like that there there definitely are some possible risk involved um so just know that uh and if that's okay with you then you know do what you gotta do but let me know down below capricorn if any of this ends up resonating for you i'd really love to hear how you are experiencing these transits this week and partially next week as well there's definitely a lot of liberation and freedom and and all of that coming in in your fifth house a lot of uh new things that you want to create that you desire that you want to like actually physically 
like create in your life, you know? And so that, that will bring you more freedom that will upgrade you in some way. And so, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Um, also my newest program money codes starts this Thursday. I am so freaking excited. This program is so badass. It is about money and abundance manifestation. It's a shorter program, but it is so powerful. And this will really change. I think so many people's mindset on money and so many people's energy on money, which will help you attract money easier and abundance easier. Like this is just this is a badass program and I'm so excited to start on Thursday. So if you are interested in that, definitely see the link down below. And I talked more about it in the beginning as well. Uh, so you can find more details either down below or in the beginning. I would love to have you. Uh, money manifestation is actually like really pleasurable, really fun and really sexy. Okay. So uh, we are getting really into pleasure in this, in this program because it's such a crucial part not like, I guess it's not a crucial part, but it's a huge part of what I've learned with money manifestation and how I had, you know, so many massive money wins so far this year. It's been absolutely insane. I still can't believe it. So anyways, I love you Capricorn. Thank you for watching. Make sure to comment down below or to come back and let me know if these things happen, if any of this ends up resonating for you. Happy Leo New Moon, and we are gonna move on to Aquarius. So Aquarius, darling, this Leo New Moon is in your seventh house of relationships, your significant other, yada, yada, yada. So these may be a lot of the big topics or focuses that you kind of notice coming up around this time and over the next few weeks as the sun is moving through Leo. So <laughs> with that being said, there could be a lot more kind of play and joy coming back into your relationship, more fun, more excitement, right? Where your partner could be feeling more playful, more joyful, you know, wanting to have more fun, right? One of the two. But also on top of that, we have some challenging aspects from Saturn and your sign kind of opposing uh, Mercury and Leo. So this could bring up possibly like a difficult opposition with someone in your life or your, your partner or a relationship in some way where there's maybe a sobering or difficult conversation that happens this week, especially like towards the end of this week, um, where it's like, you know, maybe their perspective is not really aligned with what you want or what what's going on with you you know like maybe there's some things that you're going through and maybe they're trying to help maybe they're trying to have fun maybe they're like you know a little bit more lighthearted about it and you're kind of like eh, you know like maybe your partner is like dancing jumping up and down and being goofy and like you're like in a really bad mood and and you know you just want to like try to sync with their vibe if that's the scenario try not to be an asshole you know try not to like let saturn like basically like let the scrooge out and just be like and eh, you know like try to like sync with their vibe or be happy for them open your heart you know like open your heart to them open your heart to how they're feeling and and feel what they're feeling and, and at least like be happy for them you don't have to be like a closed off distant cold asshole about it you know what i mean even though you may feel like that right but on top of that there could be some difficult conversations that come up or some some you know, kind of disconnection in a conversation that kind of happens here, uh, where maybe your partner is, is trying to express themselves authentically, or maybe you're trying to express yourself authentically, but there's also a disconnect in some way or a disagreement in some way, you know? Um, so also with that, we have Mars Uranus in the North Node in the mix of this as well in your fourth house. So this could be bringing up uh, some really random groundbreaking, like, you know, radical changes in terms of your, your family and your home life, your personal life, you know, so this could be bringing up maybe some, some unexpected or uncertain, you know, shifts or situations that happen with your, your personal life, your home or your family. Now, this is like your foundation, right? This is definitely like shaking your foundation a little bit. And uh, for some Aquarius risings, this may be like randomly you have to move or um, maybe for some of you, they're like you and your partner get into it and they're like, get out. And you're like, whoa, what? You know, like now I'm not saying that's kind of dramatic. I don't want to freak people out. I'm just saying that's like, that could be one example of many. So please don't freak out. That's not like, I'm not saying that's for sure going to happen. Um, or I mean, it could be the other way around. Like you kick your partner out. You know what I mean? Either way, it's like something is, there's some kind of opposition 
with another person in your life, whether it be your significant other or just someone else that you're really close to in your life. And then there's also some kind of challenge with home and family. Um, now, for some, this may be like exactly what you want, you know, like maybe it's like you've been living with a roommate and it's been draining you and you're like, oh my God, I can't do this anymore. So you're finally like, yo, get the fuck out, you know? And, and that frees up space and now you feel free and liberated and like, yes, you know, like I, I got what I wanted, you know, like whatever this is, it's liberating and freeing you, even if it doesn't seem like that at first. So just keep that in mind. So that is what I'm seeing for you, Aquarius. Let me know down below if this resonated with you. Um, also, I have my newest program called Money Codes that is coming this Thursday. We are starting this Thursday on July 28th and it is about money and abundance manifestation. You do not want to miss this. It is a badass freaking program. I'm going over the energetics of money and abundance manifestation that like my tried and true methods for manifesting abundance and money and how I've hit massive, massive milestones this year, how I had my first five figure a month, how I've had 7K weeks, like just crazy, crazy stuff that like I never thought was possible uh, that and how I consistently bring in money, manifest money, all the things. And so I'm going to be sharing that with you in this program. It's a shorter program. It's only two weeks um, and the price will be going up at some point before we start on Thursday. So uh, if you are interested in that, see the description down below for more information. I also talk about it in the beginning a little bit more. Uh, so if you want to go back and listen to that too. And yeah, Aquarius, thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. We're going to move on to Pisces, darling. <laughs> so for Pisces, this Leo new moon is happening in your sixth house of work, health, day-to-day -day routines, your day-to-day -day shit. <laughs> so basically, you may be wanting to have more fun, to bring more fun and charisma and uh, friskiness in the workplace, you know? You may be feeling a little bit more playful and more childlike in terms of your day-to-day -day routines and work, right? Like you're not wanting to take work so seriously, like you're, you're wanting to have fun and do things, but there could be something going on kind of behind the scenes with Saturn in your 12th opposing Mercury in your six, where it's like you're wanting to do these different tasks or these different projects, these, you know, to get creative, you're excited or they're bringing you joy or there's something that has your focus in your day-to-day -day life or that you're wanting to focus on. But Saturn in your 12th is like, you know, maybe there is, you know, maybe there's, maybe your energy isn't right. Maybe you're feeling a little bit fatigued. Maybe your mindset is kind of off, you know, maybe there, there's some healing that needs to be done that you've been putting off, or there's like, you need to rest a little bit more. There's like, it's like something's pulling you back or, or making it not as easy for you to really express yourself or to really get into what you want to get into in your day-to-day -day life. Right. And so on top of that though, we have Mars, Uranus and the North node in your third house. So Pisces, especially for you, I feel like this is very, very much about speaking your truth, right? Uh, you and then probably like Gemini as well. It's going to be about that. But like, this is very much about speaking your truth, like being bold in your expression. And it could be very difficult. It's like, you know, maybe you're, maybe there's, there's either something going around a lot that there's either something going on around you, like in your environment that's causing a massive shift or a radical change, or um, maybe you're doing something, you're taking action or you're speaking up about something and it's causing, you know, some kind of some kind of opposition in your life or some kind of challenge in your life between your day to day shit and your day to day health, your day to day work versus your your kind of behind the scenes shit, your subconscious, your your healing, like your rest, your sleep, etc. Right. So it's like something there's some kind of challenge here and it's really boil, boiling down to like, you know, you being really excited to kind of like focus on certain things but there's like it's like something else is like you know possibly it's like but this could be like a, a massive breakthrough right this could be a massive breakthrough a massive shift in your thinking a massive shift in your hobbies and your interests what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis and so I think it's going to be at the end of the day kind of like uh possibly really helpful for Pisces so anyways this may break you out of like a funk you know this may break you out of something so that could be it too so let me know down below pisces if any of that resonates with you over this next week or two come back and watch this as well because you may forget you know um and then also i have my newest freaking program 
coming on Thursday. This Thursday, we are starting my Money Codes program. It is a money and abundance manifestation program where I'm going to be sharing everything that I've learned that has brought me so many money miracles this year. It has been absolutely freaking insane. We are going over the energetics of money manifestation, bringing in abundance. It's in a super sexy and pleasurable way as well. This program is so badass and it's, it's going to blow so many people's minds. Like I just freaking know it because once I figured this out, it was like, everything changed the game changed with money and abundance for me and so i'm just like so freaking excited to do this it's a two-week program you can sign up down below if you're interested or check more out about it if you're interested down below and uh yeah pisces thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one moving on to aries darling so for aries this new moon is happening in your fifth house of love, romance, play, fun, joy, sex, children, you know, like all those things. So this is definitely a time where you are feeling so much more childlike, so much more lighter, you know, so much more playful, maybe a little frisky, a little flirty, you know what I mean? Like you're, you're feeling all of this like joy and just childlike energy and you're really tapping into your desires, your wants, your interests, your hobbies, you know, and, and really tapping into those things. And it may be feeling really good. Like you're, you're having more fun and you're, you're joking more, etc. So on top of that though, the challenging part about this is that Mercury in Leo is opposing Saturn in your 11th house in Aquarius. So there could be a lot of possible like setbacks or kind of like rejection. I know that's kind of like an intense word to use here, but like I can't think of something a little bit better at this moment. It's like there's something that you love and enjoy, right? And it's almost like maybe it's not mainstream or maybe you're scared to bring it out in the world or maybe there are friends or people in your life or whatever that don't approve in some way, right? Like, I mean, this could be like, you know, maybe you go a little bit too overboard with like the partying and you got some friends that are like, yo, what the F, you know what I mean? But either way, there's some kind of weird dynamic here with what you're passionate about or having fun or, you know, doing something that you like to do and versus other people you know your friend groups your networks connecting with others you know there's some kind of opposition here with this over this next week that you could notice coming up that could call for like a difficult conversation or confronting something difficult with someone you know so now on top of that this is also aspecting all this taurus energy in your second house um of money income priorities your possessions and so there could be some massive massive shifts here <laughs> some radical changes here maybe you're upgrading here maybe you're you're you know there there's something coming in here that's kind of like a, a possibly like a big change you know it's like you're you're possibly making a big change in terms of money income that maybe it's like you're trying to free yourself of something or you're trying to free yourself from you know like a corporate job or you're trying to free yourself from uh, other people in some way like a certain a certain clique or a certain group or something along those lines so you could be noticing that come up this week and partly next week as well Aries definitely let me know down below if this resonates I'd really like to know and hear your feedback on on if this resonates feel free to come back and watch again to see if you end up forgetting um and yeah I have my newest program money codes for money and abundance manifestation starting Thursday I'm super super excited this is a badass mother effing program okay we are going over the energetics of money this is so much more than just writing some dollar amount down and hoping it like lands at your door you know what I mean this is so much more than that like I am going over like the true genuine energetic codes for money manifestation that have literally brought so many miracles into my life this year it's been absolutely insane uh so if you would like to know more about that I talk about it on my social medias you can click the link down below and I also talked a little bit more about it in the beginning of this video so I love you Aries and I will see you guys in the next one hello taurus and welcome to your leo new moon reading this new moon for you is happening in your fourth house of home family your past your foundation this is your nest your foundation you know this is your personal life these are your emotions the things that are that you're very deeply connected to that you rely on for stability right and the people that you rely on for security stability etc where you feel safe, where you feel comfortable. And so this Leo new moon can be bringing up those types of themes. You know, there could be a new chapter, a new beginning, starting in these areas of your life with your family, your home life, your personal life. And 
as well you could be feeling a lot more like creative when it comes to your home or feeling a lot more joyous or childlike when it comes to your home when it comes to your family things like this but on top of this mercury and leo at the time of this new new moon is going to be opposing saturn in your 10th house of your career your future your legacy your professional life your reputation authority figures where you're going in life your achievements your goals etc so there could also be kind of a back and forth between these two areas of your life where, you know, there, is, there are some things that feel maybe heavy in your life right now or some things that feel kind of restricting, like, you know, maybe there is a push and pull between your personal life and your professional life or what you want to do in the world versus your home and family. And you're, you're excited about something going on in your personal life, but the responsibilities of your career or the things that you feel are weighing on your shoulders, so to say, like it could kind of feel like the world's resting on your shoulders or something, you know? And so, so there could be some kind of serious look at your future that's happening within like this next week or so that you're really taking a look at like what do you really want out of your future what do you really desire when it comes to your life what do you want your life to look like and what foundation is going to support the life that you want to build you know and then on top of that uh, we have this whole party of planets meeting in your sign that's like super important and one of the biggest times of the year because of it, uh, it Mars Uranus and the North Node are all coming into their conjunction in your first house so this is a time where you could be feeling very uh, shaky and, and uncertain, um, but also uh, very excited and liberated and exhilarated. Like it can be a very exhilarating time for you right now where you're really like wanting to break free and do something revolutionary and do something that's like outside of the box, unconventional, that's outside of the grain. You know, it feels like your destiny right now to just do you and focus on individuality, but there could be some breakthroughs that need to happen here or some challenges or fears that need to be faced for you to get to that point. So let me know, Taurus, if this resonates with you down below. I would love to hear your feedback on this and how you're feeling this energy. Uh, also, my new Money Codes program is starting this Thursday, July 28th, uh, Thursday night. So if you are interested on manifesting money and abundance, I'm going to be sharing really badass, powerful things with you that I have learned with money manifestation that I've downloaded with money manifestation that have literally taken me to like abundance and money miracles this year. I've hit so many milestones that I had never hit before in my life this year. I'm going to be sharing what I did and how to really start tapping into the energetics of money because once you understand the energetics of money, like it, it just makes so much sense you, like money becomes very easy to manifest and it's just amazing like i am just so grateful for the things that i have learned that have shot me through the roof with money and abundance and i'm ready to finally share them and so it's only a two week long program uh there will be tons of stuff though that i think will really be so freaking mind bending for so many inside and will really help you get in the flow of money and abundance. So if this is something that you're interested in, the link is down below. I also explain more about it in the beginning and over on my social medias. I love you and I will see you in my next videos, Taurus. Moving on to Gemini, darling. Gemini, this new moon is happening in your third house of communication, your how you express yourself, your environment, friends, certain events, places, and, and people that you see on a day-to-day -day basis. So you could be feeling very busy, very creative around this time, wanting to express yourself, wanting to have more fun, wanting to go do more things that are in your local area, maybe go on short trips, you know, uh, spend more time with people. You're, you may be feeling a little bit more social, more focused on creative interests, creative hobbies, creative passions. You may be, you know, just feeling very creative, fun, and playful, you know, with this Leo New Moon. But we have some other challenging aspects aspects going on at the time of this Leo new moon, which is uh, one of them is Mercury in Leo that's opposing Saturn in Aquarius. So your third and ninth house. So this could bring up some possible debates or difficult conversations about 
belief systems, politics, worldviews, etc. It's like I'm just trying to have fun and enjoy the moment and maybe there's some like heavier shit going on in the world that catches your attention or maybe somebody is trying to have like a, a difficult conversation with you and you're like, man, I'm just trying to like be in the vibe and, and have fun, like, you know. And so these are some of the things that could be coming up. It's like a, a more serious perspective comes in but you are kind of like in this more lighthearted energy where it's like, I'm just, I'm not worried about that right now, you know? And so these kind of things could come up that could really shift your perspective or like push you into kind of finding a middle ground of worrying about the world or worrying about like more of the heavier sides of life or the heavier outlooks, the heavier perspectives and more serious perspectives versus the more fun, lighthearted things that you're, you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis and that you're perceiving. So this is also squaring Mars, Uranus, and the North Node coming into their conjunction in Taurus. So this could definitely bring up some kind of subconscious triggers or shakeups for you, some subconscious disruptions. There could be like a, a disruption to your sleep schedule, or you could be feeling a little bit like uncertain or anxious and not really understanding why. You know, there could be some some disruptions going on behind the scenes that this perspective kind of triggers um, for you. I would say to be very careful with like debates and arguments or like road rage or just anything that's like gonna put you in conflict or tension with somebody because things can just kind of pop off without you even like really understanding what happened and it can like give unexpected results at this time. So just kind of be wary of that. But this could also be a time where you're being liberated, where it's like a massive breakthrough that actually ends up being very healing and freeing for you behind the scenes that like it's not really like seen. It's not like something happens in your physical reality. It's more so like within you or somehow somewhat like behind the scenes, somehow subconscious where there's just like a breakthrough where you're like, you know what, like I'm ready to be free. I'm ready to let this go. You know, I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to release this, whatever the case may be. It's like whatever this is, is, is really pointing you to let go of something. It's pointing you in the direction of freedom. So if you can kind of think about it like that, I feel like you're going to have an easier time with this energy. But let me know down below if these things end up happening, if this ends up resonating. I would really, really, really love to hear how this works out for you, Gemini. So definitely make sure to do that. I have a new program starting this week on Thursday. It is called Money Codes. It is about money and abundance manifestation and I am sharing all of my powerful and badass and pleasurable manifestation techniques that have literally brought in so much abundance this year. Like it's been absolutely insane. I've hit milestones that literally feel like miracles. I never thought I could like I never thought that I could hit, you know, and um, I'm going to be sharing exactly what I do, what I've done that just keeps freaking working for me and also the energetics behind money because once you understand that it's like money becomes easy. Once you understand money, money becomes easy and it really helps free you from a lot of the lack and the, the blocks that keep you from being where you want to be with money and abundance. And so that is what I'm doing this Thursday. It is uh, a two week long program and I'm going to be sharing a lot. It's going to be mind bending. It's powerful. It's badass and it's super sexy. So if you are into it, if you would like to learn more, hit the link down below. Uh, I also talk more about it on my social medias and there's more about it on my website. But uh, yeah, I love you guys and we are going to move on to Cancer. Cancer, this Leo new moon is happening in your second house of money, income, finances, basically money, honey. <laughs> this is your priorities. Like this is where you have your needs met. You know, this is the, the foundation for your needs. And so these things can be coming up with this Leo new moon. Maybe you're finding new creative outlets for money to come in, uh, you know, things like this. But on top of this, we have some other aspects happening at the time of this Leo new moon like Mercury opposing Saturn in your second and eighth house. So this could be a serious conversation that comes up around money or some serious situation that arises around money or uh, a serious kind of like you getting a little bit, having to get a little bit more serious about your money, maybe how you're spending it or maybe like what you want to invest in, what you're trying to do with your money for your future, like things like this could be coming up. Maybe there's a debt that you that you need to pay off or that you need to face. You know, maybe there's a fear with finances or money that you're facing around this time. But either way, that it's definitely financial. There's definitely some financial things that are coming up that could be a little bit sobering or something that you're facing or something that you are working on with money around this time. 
Uh, maybe you're trying to break free of a restriction or you're trying to break free of something that's holding you back financially or with your investments or with your, you know, with business or, you know, with debt, you know, like maybe you're trying to break free. It's like there's things that you want to do. There's people that you want to see. You know, you could be also really focusing on your networking, your friends, your social life and your place in the world and putting yourself out there right now with Mars, Uranus and the North Node in your 11th house. So you could be connecting a lot. There could be a lot of breakthroughs and kind of random unexpected situations arising with those things as well that somehow trigger you know something financially uh for you as well so definitely be on the lookout for these types of themes cancer and let me know down below if you see any of this coming up in your life i would really really love to know and it just like i, I love getting your guys's feedback because it helps me know if what i'm saying is even like fucking accurate you know <laughs> like so um but also this thursday my newest program money codes starts this is about money and abundance manifestation and it's fucking good it is badass it is powerful and sexy okay like we are gonna be i'm gonna be sharing with you my sexy af formula for manifesting money and how i've hit so many milestones this year that i never thought i could hit with money and abundance and how i've kept it flowing in whether i'm you know whether i take a step back to like work on me and, and i'm here or not like it's just it's been a freaking amazing and I cannot wait to share. Like once you understand the energetics of money, which I'm going to be teaching in this program, money becomes clear. Like you know how to manifest. It just, it, it, it all becomes clear and I cannot wait to share this with you guys. It is so powerful. So if you are interested in that, the link is down below. I talk more about it on my social medias as well. And uh, yeah, that is it, Cancer. And that concludes this video. You are the last sign. And uh, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you guys very soon in my next one. Bye.